真是个好地方，这里有很多鱼，我们应该告诉每个人都来这里。安静吧，你能听到吗？他必须是我们的一员，别担心，应该是中国海警。他必须是我们的一员，别担心，应该是中国海警。哦，就是这样，他超大。现在我们有了保护我们的人，打开收音机。Calling an identified fishing vessel at the vicinity of Scarborough Shoal. This is the Philippine Coast Guard. You are within the Philippine Exclusive Economic Zone. You are requested to leave the area and proceed to your next port of call outside of the Philippine Exclusive Economic Zone now. Oh, 该死！这不是中国海警，而是菲律宾海警。我们离开这里吧，我们走吧，现在。Hi, welcome back to In the Know. Today's video is going to be a short one, and it's going to be about the Philippine Coast Guard's future multi-role response vessels. The Department of Transportation, on February 7, 2020, entered into a procurement contract with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries for two brand new 94-meter multi-role response vessels for the Philippine Coast Guard. The Philippine Coast Guard's future multi-role response vessel is reportedly based on the Japanese Coast Guard's 96-meter Kunigami class, also known as Kunisaki class patrol ships. However, the Philippine Coast Guard's future multi-role response vessels will be structurally different with the addition of a helicopter hangar, according to NavalNews.com. According to Philippine Coast Guard Admiral Joel Garcia's tour of duty report on June 1st, year 2020, were computer-generated images of the Philippine Coast Guard's future multi-role response vessels were revealed to the public. The ships will most likely include, operate, or support two rigid hull inflatable boats, a helicopter hangar, water cannons, and naval communication and navigation equipment. The contract for the Philippine Coast Guard's future multi-role response vessels is valued at $123.57 million, with financing by the Japan International Cooperation Agency, and is expected to be delivered to the Philippines in early 2022. Did you know that the Philippine Coast Guard is currently attached to the Department of Transportation and not the Armed Forces of the Philippines? The Philippine Coast Guard used to be attached with the Armed Forces of the Philippines under the Philippine Navy before it was transferred to the Department of Transportation. The Philippine Coast Guard, led by its commandant, directly reports to the Department of Transportation during peacetime, and will also report to the Chief of the Navy during wartime. So that's going to be all for now. Please don't forget to hit the like button and、uh, support the channel by subscribing to the channel and by sharing this video. Thank you once again, and thanks for watching.